Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2021. Continuing our Glory Hunter series, our Journeyman Glory Hunter series, where we're starting at the very bottom, unemployed, working our way up. And we just got promoted to the Russian Premier League. Uh, now, we were in the Russian Premier League last season because we actually got took a team there, but they actually got relegated. So this feels much better, getting pushed back up again. Uh, uh, interestingly enough, the team that we got relegated with went back up as well. Oh, well, it is what it is. In fact, they went up champions. So eh, had we stayed with them, maybe things would have been better, but that's okay. Uh, here we are ready for the award ceremony and all the new stuff between in between the bits as well as transfer specials. So let's just jump right in. Uh, see what we got. Here we are. Torpedo Moscow into season review. The new arrivals. Uh, we had Marie Saint come in, play outstanding. Did excellent work from him. Uh, Usnov coming in. Outstanding attacking midfielder. Sanger coming in as goalkeeper, played well. Uh, Suleimanov played well, starting striker for us. Kraftsov played well. Uh, Terakov played pretty good, to be honest. Coming in from Krylia Sovatov, you know, getting a little bit old, but played well for us. Maniero playing well. Hadi playing well. Maddox playing well. I mean, all these guys just did an outstanding work for us. Uh, Nikita and Sherbakov, not so much. Uh, Malirov, not as much, but uh, who knows? We can see what, we'll see what they can come up with. Um, but yeah, overall, just outstanding work from pretty much everybody. Uh, a plus, A minuses, a couple C minuses here and there. But for the most part, pretty good positive reaction for most of our stuff. So feeling pretty good. Uh, transfers out. Uh, honestly, I don't even remember these guys or miss these guys at all. Loans out. There's our loans out. Uh, nothing really too outstanding there. Season results. Here we are. Like I said, we did make our way into the promotion, into the Premier League. So we were third place overall. So close to be just, we weren't far off, to be honest. We were definitely in a league of, a next league up compared to Shinnik and all the other teams down below here. Uh, we were we were in there with, with Ufa and Krelia Sovatov, um, but just couldn't quite, couldn't quite overcome them. But we did what we needed to do to get promotion to the Russian Premier League, beating Rotor uh, in the doubleheader. So that felt pretty good. Uh, Russian Cup, we actually made it to the fifth round, which wasn't too bad. Who actually won the whole thing? Or do we even know yet? Uh, I don't see it here. But I'm not, that's not that big of a deal. Moments to remember. Biggest win was our win against Neftekamik. <laughs> poor poor Neftekamik. 5-1 uh, to one win against them. Match to remember, uh, our win against Tamba, apparently. 3 to nothing. And then goal of the season was when we played Lokomotiv uh, Kazanka. Uh, who was it? Bogiev in the 33rd minute. Can we see that? 33rd minute strike from Bogiev. Saint with the ball. Gets it to Mar uh, Maddox there. Bogiev on the right-hand side. Oh, yeah. Outstanding goal from Bogiev. Outstanding goal. We had a couple other really good goals, but I'll, I'll give you that one. That was a pretty good goal. We'll give him that one. All right. Um, finances. Previous two and a half star, current two and a half star. No new sponsorship deals. Everything looking mostly okay here. Shirt showed Belaniak, 71. You gotta love a 71 on a striker, right? Uh, Manuro, Maddox, Usanov, and Astemir. Astemir, really. Hmm. Not too bad. How I lined up, obviously, our awesome uh 442 diamond here uh, really good play from these guys right up the middle i mean honestly our weakest links were defensive midfielder and right side over here uh maybe could have had a slightly better other central defender but everybody else played outstanding accolades manager awards um manager awards what is that saying oh manager of the year there we are Ah, I got Manager of the Year. Well, there you go. My first Manager of the Year award, I think. I think that was. Uh, club awards, Fans Player of the Season, Belaniak, of course. Young Player of the Season, Usanov, outstanding. Signing of the Season, Usanov, makes sense. Goal of the Season from uh, Bogayev. Uh, top goal scorer, Belaniak, 30 goals. Uh, most assists, Tarakov, Seraph, seven assists from Tarakov, outstanding. Uh, 10 Player of the Match awards from Belaniak. And, of course, having the highest average rating was 7.2. Competition awards, um, Russian First Division Foreign Player of the Year, Blaniak. Russian First Division Top Goal Scorer, Blaniak. Russian First Division Goalkeeper of the Year, Sangor, Sanger. 
uh, and Russian First Division D Defender of the Year, Maurice Saint. Some outstanding players. Uh, most overall goals by a player in a season, Belanik with 35. Uh, most league goals by a player in a season, Belanik with 30. Most goals by a player in a match, Belanik with 5. <laughs> most goals by a player in a league match, Belanik with 5. Most clean sheets by a player in a season, Sanger with 26. Most player of the match awards, Belanik with 12. Worst discipline, Orikov, oof, 11 red, yellow cards, 1 red card. And uh, highest transfer fee paid, Kraftsov. I mean, he played well for us. Was he worth $749 million? Maybe not, but he played well for us. Uh, and then youngest goal scorer was Igor Sergeyev, 18 years old, in 70 days when he scored a goal. History in the making. Torpedo Moscow have been brilliant since day one. Their early season football was a joy to watch, and they're deservedly going up. I agree. Um, Torpedo Moscow started better than anyone would have expected and continued that vein Storming all the way to promotion. Yeah, no, I, I, I think we deserved it after the way we played throughout the season. Um, 8.5 million from the game against Rotor. Pretty good. High points, 87 points. Outstanding. Of course, Blanding with his record. Clean sheet record. Most player of the match record. Players inducting the Torpedo Moscow overall best 11. Uh, so we've got... Ivashin is actually over here. Shorkin, we, we actually had him on the team for a little bit, but we didn't play him. Andre Bogiev, Bogiev actually made it. Orikov, Astemir, Usinov, Yevseyev, Burkowski, and Blaniak, of course. Uh, I'm assuming the other guys have to be. I was going to say, they have to be on here as substitutes. Redkovic, Sanker, Sanker, sorry. Uh, really? Oh, Suleimanov is in there. Where is... Wow. That's it. I was expecting a couple other players in there, but no, it's not. It's pretty good. Most of our players got in there. Uh, there's a review. I mean, we were quite impenetrable defense. The only people that were even close to us were Ufa and Krylia Sovatov. I mean, we were literally right there with them. And then if you look at the attacking efficiency, we had been up here with Krylia Sovatov for a while, but we dropped back a little bit. We're almost next year with Ufa, but we're us three are actually up there. So it makes sense that we're the three teams going up. Club vision expectations. Play defensively solid, play counterattacking, work within wage budget. I can try and do all that. Fight bravely against relegation. Definitely can try and do that. Continue reigning in Premier League. I am actually okay with all of this. I'm not going to negotiate nothing. I think those are all very, very well done. To end the season team meeting. Um, did it say anything about what they suggested? Okay, just letting us not long know. Um, man, I don't know. I think we can avoid relegation, even if it might be via the relegation playoffs. I think so. Really? Why are they disappointed? But why? Don't tell me. You didn't tell me why. Blanick thinks it's good. Um. Oh well, you know I'm grateful for those who agreed with me. We'll worry about promises later. See everybody after the start of the season. I'm not sad to see that they just didn't agree. I mean, we just won in the relegation playoffs. Why is it impossible for us to say that we could try and win in the relegation playoffs next season? Now, to win, to even get in the relegation playoffs, we have to be not the bottom two teams, to be fair. So maybe that's what they're worried about, but I think we have a chance. Um, injury reports, breaks, training camps, important dates, transfer window opening up here on June 11, it looks like. It's coming up real soon. Definitely got to get some better players, obviously, because I mean, we have great players, but we need some better ones because this is Premier League. This is a different league entirely. Manager division player manager of the year award. Awesome. First division goal of the month. Orkov came in second. And Blanek scoops Russian first division top goal score award. No big surprise there. Just destroyed the other guys. He almost had as many goals. Okay, maybe not quite, but 
he had a lot of goals. I was going to say he almost had as many goals as the other two combined, but that, that's not quite true. But he did outstanding. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. Uh, First Division Team of the Year, Sanger, Terakov, Marie Saint, Kraptsov, and Belaniuk. So five players in the Team of the Year. Not bad. Not bad at all. Only two players from uh, Krylia Sovatov. Uh, and then I guess it's the Ufa player, right? Yeah, Ufa player, sorry. Ufa player. So, yeah, we, we did really well. Porn player of the year, Blaniuk. Player of the year was actually Zuev here from Ufa. Goalkeeper, of course, we got a defender of the year. We got that. Midfielder of the year was not us. Forward of the year was not us. Really? It's interesting that we didn't get forward of the year, even though we had the goal scorer of the year. Definitely congratulate, congratulate these guys on their awards. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Um, like I said, we got our work cut out for us to get some um, some new guys in. We got to get some new, stronger players in now that we're a Premier League team. Uh, obviously, hold on to some of the guys that we have, but not all these guys can probably play at this level. So we'll see. We'll, we'll re reevaluate and we'll take it as we can. So I think unless something comes up after the save. We will put a quick pause in there. We'll be back with if there's any news within the, the transfer window. Come on. Anything new here? Uh, just a bunch of scouting and stuff. Somebody retiring. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep the history. Sure. We didn't. We didn't use them, so... Doesn't really matter. Uh, get, did get a tax bill with some because we had some profits apparently. Membership fees coming in, two-year deal, sponsor deal, some new sponsor stuff. That's pretty good to see actually. Scouting budget, 22, 20.2 mil. It's not amazing. Guess we'll drop down to that package. That should cover that. We might we might go back up again later if we can get some more money thrown in there. And a quick scouting meeting. We'll come back to the scouting meeting here in just a second. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, 4.7 billion rubles in the bank. I think we're going to be fine. All right, like I said, we'll come back if there's any more information from the transfer window and stuff like that. Or if another job comes along that's in one of the leagues that we want to be in, we'll, I'll let you guys know. So we'll be right back. All right, we are back. We're only about a week away from the beginning of the regular season here in our Russian Premier League. Um, and uh, we have picked up a couple players. Uh, apparently, they technically were tagged on to the end of the last season, but we'll check it. We'll take a look at them real quick, but we also got something to talk about. So let's let's jump into this real quick, just, just to show you, because I'm actually pretty excited about these players. Uh, we got uh, Litvinov here, who... Um, if you remember, we have played with, we had him on loan a while back, and we actually enjoyed him. He was a great player at the time. Uh, so he comes in, you know, three and a half star current, four star ability, can play on the defensive central defender or uh, defensive midfielder. So it gives us some flexibility that technically can play as midfielder as well, but gives us a lot of flexibility in that in any of those spots. Uh, we got Danila Prokin here, uh, current three and a half star, potential four and a half star, also central defender, gives us more depth, more strength, more just whatever in that central defensive role. A uh, decent rating last season, not not amazing, but decent. Uh, pretty good rating a couple seasons ago in Zenit too. Um, and then I mean, none, of, none of these guys cost that much money, to be fair. Uh, then we picked up Brian Lasmi here uh, for less than a mil. Uh, he comes in three and a half star current ability, four star potential ability. Can play in the striker role, which is probably where we would play him because we aren't planning on playing wingers. Uh, but he would probably be a three star potential there. It's really good stats overall, honestly. Felt like he would be a good strong addition to the squad so all that being said we have something to talk about and what we have to talk about is that we have a job offer we have a job offer for amiens amiens sc uh this is a team in france uh but they're technically in league two which means this is technically a down a downgrade um, because uh, League 2 is right here, 35, and 
previously we were in Russian first division, which is where is the Russian first division? Can't be that far away. It's in the thirties, wasn't it? Or is it in the forties? Why am I not seeing the Russian first division? That we just came from. Uh, let's actually go up here. Um, let's go to Russian Premier League. Down. Oh, they're 47. Are they that far down? I thought they were higher up than that for some reason. Um, okay, so 47. So obviously it's a boost up from where we were last season, right? Boost up from where we were last season. Here they are. Uh, this is up here in 35th. Cool. Awesome, right? Uh, it's basically the same reputation. Currently, however, we're in the Russian Premier Division which is a three and a half star division. Here's the thing. And here's the reason I'm, we have to kind of talk about this. Although obviously by the time you see this, I will have already made my decision. So um, competing or, or conflicting thought process right now. Right. And here's my complete conflicting thought process. Um, in a normal save, I'd probably stick with the Russian one because I'm actually pretty excited about some of the players that we brought on. I actually think we're going to have a really good squad this season. Um, some really good depth, really good just teams. You know, if we could get another guy on the left, I think we've got a really strong chance to stay up and continue pushing and do what we got to do. You know, that, that's awesome, right? And arguably, if we were to stay up and keep pushing, we'd make a bigger name for ourselves and could potentially get a bigger job next year. So there is some incentive to staying with this team, right? It's a lot of fun. We've grown with them. We, we've grown to know them. We've grown to love them. And we can keep pushing with them and see what they can do, right? I mean, that, that, there's a lot of positives with that. However, again, the point of this whole series, and we'll go, we'll go check this out right here. Here it is. Uh, do you see a Russian flag anywhere over here? Uh, in case you don't know what the flag of Russia looks like, no. None of these are the Russian flag. Uh, in fact, we can go look at a Russian flag real quick just because. There's the Russian flag right there. I mean, yes, the French flag does look kind of like the Russian flag, but in a different order and sideways. Um, we've got to get into one of these, these these countries, right? That's the whole point of this series is to get into one of these countries and start winning things with these countries. But we need to be in the top leagues of these countries. So the question comes, is it worth taking a downgrade in reputation of the league we're in to get into uh, the country that we want to be in. Now, another factor I'll go ahead and throw in there that makes this more of a potentially good idea, and that is they actually want us to reach promotion playoffs. They're expecting to hit promotion playoffs this season, which means... This isn't a bad team. This team could actually get into the first league, league of France next season, which is awesome, right? That's a really big deal. Um, their transfer budget is nowhere near as much as ours. Uh, sorry, one but wrong button. Finances. Transfer budget is nowhere near as much as ours. Ours is 864. Theirs is 360 something. So a third of the transfer budget, basically. But we're at 18 million per week wage budget, and they are at 35, 32. So a bit more wage budget. And sometimes, you know, you can do a little bit more with the wage budget. Uh, and you can also move these things around, obviously. In fact, just for giggles, if we were to move some of this over, like, what are we looking at? Are we looking at close? Actually, we are looking at more budget total. Because if I were to move all this over to get to that 32 that they have, we actually have less transfer budget. So in a theory, we have more total budget go into this other team than we do with the team right now, which and the team right now is a pretty rich team, to be honest. It's a really strong team, a lot of wealth, a lot of money. So we were able to do a lot with this team. Now, the other negative that's going against us going to the other team is that, um, oh, sorry, I just realized I didn't go back to the screen. Uh, I was looking at these budgets, but anyway, the other thing about going back to this other team was that um, if it's too late in the transfer window, then we might not be able to get some new people in to, to make that push that they want us to make. So let's go check something out real quick. Let's go check out uh, when their transfer window is over. We're in July 7th right now. If we go look at the rules. Uh, transfer window. Oh, wow. Their transfer window goes all the way to September. We got time, guys. We got time. We've got time. Okay, 
All right. Sounds good. All right. I, th I think we got to go for it, right? I, wait, that's the whole point is to get into France, get into Germany, get into Italy, UK, uh, or Spain, any one of those. We had an opportunity to go to an Italy team that also is expecting promotion. Slightly richer team, actually. Uh, actually, quite a bit richer team. Um, but because they had a lot more bu budget available. But uh, that one fell through. So this one, this one's the next best thing. I did apply to a couple... Um, uh, which one? Skybet Championship teams, which obviously quite a bit further up the list. Um, unfortunately, those did not go through. I think we got to go for this, though. I mean, if we can get it to, to, to the League One, I mean, that's a pretty big deal, isn't it? It's a four-star league compared to the th three-and-a-half-star Russian Premier League. So I think we've got to go for this. This is the whole point of this series. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I would love to stay where I'm at and play with some of the players that I have. But maybe I can bring some of these players along with me at some point. Maybe not right away, but maybe at some point. Um, we got to go for it, right? Uh, we have to. Plus, it's a bigger wage budget. So, I'm uh, not wage, wage budget, uh, bigger salary. So, there's that as well. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, She got to agree to some more money. I'll take it. Uh, 2.1 mil if we win. Uh, get a big pay increase if we go up. Small pay increase if, decrease if we go down. Um, and I think the leak below this is available. Yeah, it is. It is. So if we got relegated for some strange reason, we technically could stay with the club, but I don't think that we would. We got to go for this, right? I think this is a great deal for us. Whatever, who cares? I don't want to run this for them though. Um, doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. We're no longer there, guys. Unless, okay, I guess they still have to approve us. All right, let's play this out just in case for some strange reason they don't. Um, uh, what are we? What's the problem with auto select here? Why is auto select not work? Everybody should be in. You should be in. Wait, how did that not work? You can't come in because of homegrown at the club? Aren't these guys homegrown at the club? Oh, that hits us our max of 25. Oh. So who would we drop out instead? Honestly, I think I would... I think I would rather have Malyarov than Bogaev just because Malyarov has a little bit more potential. So I think I'd drop you out and drop you in. And I think that's what we go with. Like, I'm excited about this squad. If for some reason this falls through, I actually am pretty excited about this squad. But I didn't think it was going to fall through. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Four squads in almost as many seasons, right? Uh, this is our fifth season technically now coming up. But we're finally in one of the nations that we care about. Oh, my goodness. It's a big deal. That is a big deal. Now, don't get me wrong. Look, I don't want to jump around this much. I want to get to a squad that we can push all the way up to the top. And that can take several years. I do want to get to a point where we're in squads. But it's got to be squads that can make that push. So, all right. In a movie which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate, David Breuer has left Torpedo Moscow to join Amiens. Amiens? Probably Amiens? Amiens? Amen? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how to say that. Uh, questions will be raised as to why Breuer made the decision to change jobs. But he'll be face pressure to bring immediate success given his former employers and previous standing. Yeah, we definitely want to get immediate success because I mean, that's the whole point of this. We got to get to that first next league up. Um, they'll be looking for a new manager. <laughs> they could be paid $22 million in compensation for me just because I just signed a new contract. That's insane. Um, but yeah, we've been with Krylia Sovatov, Torpedo Moscow, Neftekamik, and now we're finally in a French, French club. This is awesome. This feels good. I like it.
what do we got going for us? Three star reputation. Assistant manager vacant, obviously. Pretty good uh, capacity at the stadium, so that looks good. Um, oh, they just got relegated. They just got relegated. So they're actually a, a League One team, uh, but they just got to get back in there. Oh, I like the fact that they're... Is this is this their formation? I like that. They're, they're using the formation I like. We've actually got some faces! <laughs> we finally have a team with faces on them. Uh, and by that, I mean real play people. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right. Then what is developed with players using the club's youth system. Play defensive solid football. Sign players under the age of 23. I like all the a lot of these. Uh, work within wage budget. We can try and do that. It should be possible. Maximum one year for people over the age of 34. Hopefully we don't have too many of those. Maximum two year for players over the age of 32. Again, hopefully we don't have too many older players. Uh, but they do want us to win a promotion. Oh, it's so hard, but they want us to win promotion. Um, 11th round. That's a lot of rounds. Uh... Man, what if we won the French Cup? I guess it counts, right? Like, that's the point, right? We're, we're here. We get, we can win the Cup now. Uh, work towards repairing the club's financial damage. Okay, that's going to be rough. Can't auto promote promotion. All right, cool. I like it. I can't believe we're in another new club already, guys. Another new club. If we get the same type of success we had last season, though, this could be pretty good. Um, takes charge, negotiations, De Marino. Eesh. Please tell me that's not the quality of players that we've got right now. Oh, that's one out. Okay. Um, Mendez here, Mr. Mendez, 26 year old right defender, three star current, three and a half star potential. It's not bad. Yeah, we'll say that. I don't want to give you the big pay raise, though. Oh, I need to change the, the money. All right, that sounds good. Uh, let's change the money here in a second. Um, in fact, we'll do that now. What is it? Is it euros that France uses? Well, let's find out. France currency. Pretty sure it's euros. Yeah, the euro. Okay, cool. So we'll go. We'll go change that to the euro. Obviously, they used to be francs, 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 which I actually have. Uh, I actually uh, went to Europe, uh, right, like in the year two thousand was when I went to Europe, and that was right after they had adopted the euro. But the euro was still only digital currency, not actual paper currency yet. And so all of the different countries that I went to—Germany, France, Italy—we uh, didn't get to go to Spain, which would have been awesome. Uh, Luxembourg, Belgium, all those places had their own like paper currency but then then any con transactions used through digital was all euros so kind of a weird interesting transition moment but i do still have some of that currency somewhere and in, in the depths of my you know stashes of things uh let's go preferences and go to the euro euro sounds good i will leave the language on english just because i like the fact that it calls coaches managers and things like that this feels normal uh let's go with that and we'll check some of these things out here in a little bit. Season expectations. I mean, they want us to be promo get promotion. I don't think we're going to go promotion by winning the league, though. It's not a huge difference in wage budget. We'll have to get to different, used to the new numbers. <laughs> um, the numbers look so much bigger before. But uh, it's not a huge difference. I mean, it's a decent difference, though. I mean, if we don't get a promotion this season, then we're probably in trouble anyway, right? But by winning the league, really? We're not the favorites, are we? We are not. So I don't think I can go for that. If we were the favorites to go up, I think I would. I uh, said, we'll be winning the league. I think we can get promotion, though, if we're a good enough team. But we'll play it a little safer. Uh, sure, we'll create, create a tactic real quick. Uh, sure, control possession. Actually, I like the gate press. We'll probably actually go back to that here in a minute. I need to look at the team. We're just, we're just going to plug in information just, just to say. Just, there you go. Got information. Done. Um, good youth facilities. That's awesome to see. 
Uh, hold back up my screen so I can make sure I'm seeing everything okay. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'm really nothing else to do except go look at the squad. Let's, okay, let's go check out our staff real quick. Who's got good ability to um, judge players? Christoph Prudhon. Prudhon. Actually got really good ability. Christoph Prudhon. Can we use him? Actually, sometimes you can't use the performance analysis. Which he would be one that we can't use. That's annoying. Um, who else could we use then as a backup? Me! Uh, goalkeeper coach. It's at least a 10 here. So it's Blondell. Blondell? Um, Blondell. Blondell. I wish it would tell us what their ratings were here. Blondell. There we go. All right, so Blundell. So we got, you know, decent squad here. We got a four-star striker, uh, three-star here. Uh, let's go back over here and look at all positions just so we can see where we're at. Uh, looks like Gatos, Gatos can play mid, you know, down the middle, but he prefers to play on the wings. So that is definitely a possible formation to use. Definitely need some more strength on the left. Just out of your rare curiosity. Like, surely not, right? Can we go poach us a couple players from our other squad? Um, what am I looking for? Torpedo. Your squad. I don't know. Like, Blaniak. Buddy. Pal. Big chunk of our transfer budget, 975,000 euros. I mean, I don't know if he's, any, if he's any good compared to what we've got here. He's got to be, though, right? The Russian Premier Division is technically higher uh, overall ratings. I can't believe, believe that would actually let me. I mean, honestly, I think he's worth it. If he'd come. Anybody else that we would just absolutely love to bring on? Kraftsoft, maybe? That'd be awesome to bring on. <sighs> wow, we can't afford him. This would be our entire budget right here, but 22 years old. Nah, can't afford him. Can't afford him. That's all right. If we can get Blaniuk, that would be cool. Um, Honestly, I think that's good enough. If that's all we got, I think I'd be happy with that. I feel like we have to go wings with this group, though. Probably single striker O'Day. Godos on one of the wings. Okolo on the other wing. Um, probably two midfielders with Blen and Zungu, right? So would that be four? Two. We probably need a central midfielder. Bonatini can probably do central midfielder okay. Tarbuck, one of these guys. So what we really need to do, we need to go, we need to go find us a def left defender. That's that's easy. That that's guaranteed. We have to find a left defender. Um, we need some more central defenders. These guys are just I mean, we need another strong one. I, I'm okay with one of these guys being like our secondary. We need another one. Uh I like Blend back here. He's gonna be good. Uh never mind. He's our best midfielder. Uh so never mind. Probably another attacking midfielder in the center. And another defender on the right. There's a lot of scouting jobs out there, but really just need to shore up the defense. I'm not really a huge fan of the goalkeepers either, to be fair. Oh, I know who we can go after. I know exactly who we can go after. I was avoiding him because he um he we already had a good goalkeeper. But Mr. Nizhny Nov right over here, 
He's played so well for us in the past. I don't know how good he is compared to these guys, though. You know? Can we compare him? Uh, report. Compare with... Who's our best goalkeeper? Halatki. 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 Uh, how do I, oh, there we go. Compare with a lot key. All right, so Nikolai is on the left. Better speed. Slightly better aerial, but honestly not as good on the other stuff. So presumably he's probably not going to be as good of a player overall. Now the big difference is this guy's 33 years old. Nikolai is 25 with potential room to grow, I think. Slightly taller, not by much. Slightly heavier, not by much. I mean, he's not a bad player, I don't think. But he definitely pales in comparison overall. I mean, this guy over here is a pretty good player. Wow, I'm impressed. I mean, he is eight years older, you know? So he's going to be a better player, right? Maybe we go after Nikolai as a, as a backup, like, good option. I still think we go after him because I, I like him. And I know he, I know he can play well. If we can get him at a good price... We'll probably bring him in as a backup. That's the whole point of doing stuff like this, right? Is go around, find players that you've worked with before, and see if you can bring them in. If he doesn't work out, then we didn't really spend that much money on him at the end of the day. All right, so that's a couple of players we're going after. Um, we'll get some stuff back from the scouts. Got to get us an assistant manager soon. Ah, see, I, that's that's a mistake we made. We we offered him a contract right before we left because we were playing the game, continuing doing what we got to do, and he's just not interested, which is unfortunate. Uh, but Nikolai is interested. I like the backup. It's okay. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I just wanted to bring in a player that I knew about that I thought I know has had potential in the past. We'll see how much potential he actually equates to here. Right. There's that. The player's currently unhappy. Social feed, sure, we'll go, we'll go with that. I think I think so. I will surprise critics. I agree. Um Oh, yeah, I need to check to see when's our next game. Okay, we're still in friendlies. Good. So our, our first actual game is not until July 27th. So we've got some time. We've actually got a couple weeks to get some guys on trial and, and try some stuff out. In fact, let's go ahead and actually arrange a couple more friendlies so we have some more trial type, type options. Uh, that one, and then we'll bring one, okay, that one's going to be okay there. Actually, we might plug another one in here somewhere. It's going to be a little bit tight, but I think it'll be okay. I'm doing a way game or something. Sure, it doesn't matter. Just whatever. Just, just get another team in there. Just to get some more guys that we, we can start doing some uh, some uh, trials. I mean, 15-year-old kid would be great, but we'll go ahead and trial him, but I don't expect him to be the answer to our problems. All right, well, this episode's going on pretty long, uh, almost 40 minutes, but obviously a lot's happened in this episode. So go ahead and put a cut in there. Um, I will play through the rest of this stuff, and what we'll do is I will show you whatever transfers I might have been able to make uh, as we play the first two games here. We will play Dijon, FCO, and Dunkirk in the next game, next episode, uh, with our brand new team here, and... Um, I'll, I'll reveal whatever transfers and stuff like that I've done. So let me know, know what you guys think in the comments below. 
we're finally in one of the top five nations. We're in France. Uh, so I'm and t- with a team that could very well make it to League One next season. In fact, that is the expectation. So uh, we could be in the top league of one of those top five leagues next season. Now, I doubt we'd be in a team that's going to win that league next season, but it's a step in that direction, right? So let me know what you guys think about this transfer or this change in the comments below. And hopefully you guys are excited, looking forward to brand new adventure as much as I am. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.